Hello folks, welcome and welcome back to the whole bucket. I am Cheryl and this is June birth month journal number two. The last one or the, the one that I dubbed number one is softer, more romantic, more calm. This one, full of drama. Um, so I was going to call this one the queen and that one the princess. Um, cause this one's the drama queen and that one's, um, you know, a little princessy, but I forgot about that. So now it's not called that, but you can call it that. Okay. I'm really goofy this morning. Okay. Take the ribbon off. This one is just an unattached removable ribbon. And I did show this journal in my live show. So if you already saw it, you might notice a few little differences, but not, not too much really. Um, here is the collaged cover, and there is the dangle on this one. Pearls, and I don't remember what that is. It's supposed to be a venturine, I think, um, but it's a it's not a very good mock-up of a venturine. But um, it's still that's an alternate um, birthstone for June, so I put it on there because it matches the book so nicely. Let's get right into the insides. So this has a double tucked um, big journaling card and tags and tiny tags because I like to make tiny things. And this one has a mini journal that has two itty bitty tags in them. And the rest of the pages are just blank pages. Do, do, do. Yep, right there. Okay. And then this pocket. Um, this pocket is pretty tight fit, but it holds the book very nicely in place. So that's good. And then I have a card and an explanation of how to use a journal, sort of. I'm not going to flip through every single page, but you will, um, you will notice that there are pages printed with pictures and pages printed with lines. So for writing and for gluing or drawing or actually writing too, just, I mean, use it however you want, right? But I tried to make spaces and inspiration for all the different things that you could do in your journal. There is a mini paper clip here with a little tiny tag in it and a rose charm. And this postcard, okay, yeah, it still it still makes me giggle a little bit. But I put a mock-up postcard in a corner tuck spot on the back of a mock-up postcard. I don't know why silly things crack me up, but that just cracked me up. <laughs> there is the rest of the signature. Again, I'm not going to show it too fancily because... I want there to be some surprises when you open your journal. There will be some things added to this journal quickly before I actually send it out. I will do like a last um, flip through for myself and I will add slash repair anything that I think, you know, I should. But this is the gist of the book in any case. This middle pocket has a large tag a piece of torn edge tea dyed paper and this. Um, this is a uncut artist trading card board. It's it's really thick. It's super sturdy. Um, it's backed with tea dyed paper and I left the pencil line on it. So you can erase the pencil line or cut it up and it shows where to cut it. Um, and then you could have four trading cards or just this one big journaling card, whichever way you like it. I'll put those back in later. So the rest of the back of the signature, some decorating, not too much, some beautiful pages made by Debbie at Ink and Page. Don't forget that. And then in the back, we have a pocket and I made an accordion pocket and it is full of goodies, leftovers from making this book. So you'll find 
some more cards from the kit in here and some cutouts from the kit. This is the this is all that's left of the rice paper that I used in this book. Um, but I thought, you know, it'll it'll create a background or an edging or something for if you wherever you want to use it. There's a tiny strip of fabric in here that's the same fabric as on the cover. And there's a whole bunch of flat back pearls. If you're any more successful with them than I am, then, you know, go ahead and use those. But gosh, they cause me trouble. They're so tiny. There is um, all kinds of stuff to play with in this back pocket. All kinds of stuff. And it's got a Velcro closure. There we go. That is the June birth month journal drama version or number two. Let's tie that shut. I can do a bow. Watch me. There we go. All right. That's it. The June drama journal. Oh, this will be for sale in my Etsy shop if you are interested in purchasing this book. If you are not interested in pur purchasing a journal, I hope that this gives some inspiration of things that you love to do or things that you want to steer away from. Either way, it's all inspiration, isn't it? Um, so thank you for tuning in. Tune in again. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you. See you next time.